Trent Alexander-Arnold is the cause of Liverpool's defensive woes this season. Trent Alexander-Arnold would be better in midfield. Trent Alexander-Arnold is the most talented English player of the modern era. Trent Alexander-Arnold should be dropped. If you have paid any attention to Liverpool or football in general this season, then the chances are you've heard most, if not all, of those opinions being wielded. But the Reds have found a way not only to unite the fans on Trent, but also climb the table at the business end of the season. On Football Reality Today, we're discussing why Trent Alexander-Arnold in midfield is a cheat code for Liverpool. The suggestion that Trent Alexander-Arnold is incredible going forward, but a liability in defence is nothing new. It is the main reason why he's won comparatively few England caps, as first and foremost, the stability-minded Gareth Southgate wants his defenders to be just that, defensive. However, he has been named in the PFA Team of the Year three times, and once in the UEFA Team of the Year, all for his performances as a right-back, so it's not like he doesn't have a clue what he's doing there. But this season, the criticisms have been louder than ever. For much of the season, Liverpool have been a shadow of their former selves, spending large parts of the campaign in mid-table. No wins in their opening three games meant they were playing catch-up from the off, but as recently as February, they were down in 10th place, having never put more than four wins in a row together in a stop-start season. A wide range of injuries and an aging squad were two factors in this demise, but the main one was the inconsistency at the back with Virgil van Dijk and Alisson looking like poor imitations of the two giants that had marshalled Liverpool's defence for the past few years. Though for every goal another defender or goalkeeper was at fault for, there was another where the blame could be pinned on Trent. Had the Englishman's defending got worse since last season? Or perhaps without the likes of van Dijk able to cover for him? Are we finally seeing the extent of how bad Trent's defensive work is? Both could be true in part. Yep, it wasn't Trent's performances at the back which had been suffering. Before the match with Chelsea on the 4th of April, the first Premier League match all season in which he didn't play, Trent had scored one goal and registered two assists in the league. While the goal scoring is only a little below par for him, it was the assist numbers that had gone right off a cliff when you consider he's averaged 11 over the past four seasons. His numbers in other competitions were no better, with just one more assist coming in the FA Cup. Was his work going forward dipping because of a lack of confidence brought on by defensive frailties? Was a lack of assists down instead to Liverpool's ever-changing attacking line, failing to take their chances? Or were Liverpool simply not at the level they once were? Whatever the reason, it turned out Jurgen Klopp wasn't just using the Chelsea match to rest Trent, but to work on a new tactical plan that was to turn the red season around so dramatically it would look like a cheat code. In the next game, Liverpool welcomed table-topping Arsenal to Anfield for what turned out to be one of the matches of the season, as the Gunners relinquished a 0-2 lead to draw 2 all. Klopp deployed Trent in a hybrid role, filling his usual spot on the right of a back four when Arsenal had possession, and then moving up the pitch when Liverpool had the ball. Alexander Arnold, Jota! Rather than move to the right wing, which many would expect to be his natural best position as an attacker, Klopp moved him into central midfield when Liverpool were on the attack, allowing him to constantly drift inside and play as a deep-lying, ball-playing midfielder. A midfielder once heralded as the next Steven Gerrard when in the LFC Academy, Trent took to the role perfectly. Instrumental in the transition, he grabbed his first assist for two months as Liverpool completed the comeback. Next up, Liverpool ran riot against Leeds United, winning the match 6-1 at Ellen Road. Again, TAA ran the show in the middle for the Reds, getting two more assists. Not just that, he completed 124 passes, 12 of which were perfectly executed long balls, and 20 were into the final third. He didn't let up there, nabbing three more assists in the next three matches, all won by a single goal against Nottingham Forest, West Ham and Tottenham respectively as Liverpool went unbeaten over six Premier League matches for the first time in 2022-23. Suddenly, Alexander-Arnold was on eight Premier League assists for the season, up to sixth in the league standings, and Liverpool were now fifth in the table. The winning run continued in May, as Liverpool also saw off Brentford and Fulham by a single goal, and unlike the 4-3 with Spurs and 3-2 with Forest, Klopp's men won both matches 1-0. Trent didn't get the assist for either goal, 
But are we seeing signs that the new role for Trent is uplifting both his and his teammates' confidence, leading to increased resilience when defending their own goal? Maybe. But what is for certain is that Liverpool are now on 62 points, just one behind Manchester United. The Red Devils have a game in hand over their old rivals, but somehow, despite such an inconsistent season, where they've never been in the top four at any point, Liverpool have a realistic chance to secure Champions League football once again. So why is this new role being so successful, and why was it the best option for Liverpool? First of all, there was no way Klopp was going to move away from his 4-3-3 formation, and why would he, when it has served the club so well? With that setup in use, using Trent as an out-and-out -out right winger will not work as it creates an overload on the right side. Furthermore, it would then mean someone else would have to play at right back, and at present, 37-year-old James Milner is the only other option Liverpool have. On the subject of midfielders past their prime, Trent's presence within the centre has provided a much-needed boost to an area of the pitch where Liverpool have had plenty of injuries and losses of form this season. His passing ability is well known, and rather than deliver from out wide and get caught out of position when the ball is lost, he's using his range of passing to unlock defences through the middle, setting up ample opportunities for the forward line who are getting their mojo back as a result, while able to recover his position quickly when needed. With just one simple change of position for 50% of the game, Liverpool have killed not two, but maybe three or four birds with one stone. Let's see what you guys think of the new midfield role for Trent. Is this just a temporary fix, or will he be playing there long term? Can you think of any other changes like this which have made such a big impact? Will Liverpool do the unthinkable and qualify for the Champions League this season? As always, the comment section is where you can have your say. Thanks for joining us on Football Reality. Subscribe to the channel and never miss another video. Alexander-Arnold to Gakpo.